Hi guys, I'm Cody J, and welcome back to the perfect place for makeup tutorials, product reviews, challenges, skincare, and more. In today's video, I'm going to be creating a look inspired by Lady Gaga's new music video for 911. Now, I am proud to be one of the most dedicated little monsters since all the way back before 2008. So if you guys love Lady Gaga as much as I do, and you'd like to see what look I create today, put your paws up and let's get started. Okay guys, brows are done as you can see. I just don't like doing them on camera because it's very boring in my opinion. But today, like I said, I'm gonna be recreating a look inspired by Lady Gaga's new video for 911. Now this is the photo that I'm gonna be recreating. And I guess I shouldn't say recreating, I'm just doing something that's a bit inspired by it. Obviously I'm not gonna like paint my eyebrows blue because it's like not my thing. But like if it's your thing, cool, but like not my thing. So before we get started, make sure if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. And make sure if you love Gaga, or you love me at least, click that like button so more people can see this video. Okay, so this music video for 911 just came out a couple days ago and it's currently number 14 on the trending list. But yesterday morning it was number two, which is pretty exciting. Now I'm all for Miss Gaga. I have loved her since literally day one. And I feel like most people, I don't know, they just don't give her credit for how amazing she is. She's been doing this for what, like 12 years? And she still is so relevant and so popular. And I just love her so much because you really never know what you're gonna get. She always surprises me. There's always something new. And I just love that sense of like, you never know what you're gonna get. Now, I really love this album, which is called Chromatica. If you have not heard it, and if you haven't, you need to go stream it and buy it. But I love this album so much just because it's kind of getting back to Gaga's like pop roots. Now don't get me wrong, like Joanne was fantastic and Cheek to Cheek was great, but I just have been missing this like really intense pop sound. So this album being like a classic dance club pop record, I just, it makes my little gay heart scream. Now this album is pretty much the only album I've listened to since it came out. I think I've maybe listened to like three or four other songs, but I just can't help it. I try to listen to something else and I'm like, no. I need to pop a 911 and get my chromatica on. So it's just, it's kind of addicting, but I love it, you know what I'm saying? But I would love to know who of you are OG Lady Gaga fans and who of you are a little bit more new to the Monster family. And I'd also like to know what was your first thought when you experienced Lady Gaga's awesomeness. Now for me, the first time I experienced the amazingness that is Miss Gaga was actually when she was on a show called Boiling Points and she was in a restaurant and pretty much the whole premise of the show is to make people mad and if they can like not get super mad they win money so long story short they were giving her a salad that was like had trash on it and stuff like that and it was disgusting and she was like refusing to eat it and I don't think she ended up winning the money because she did get a little bit too heated I believe but that was the first time I experienced her and then from that point on I heard a lot of her older music that you know isn't under the Lady Gaga name it's under Stephanie Germanata and a lot of it, like No Floods and Disco Heaven and songs like that. Um, those are really amazing songs from like Classic Gaga. So if you didn't even know those existed, I'd recommend checking out those songs just so you kind of know where she really started as far as like her music. But I just have loved so much seeing her evolution over the years. And like I said, you always get something new and it's always refreshing and it just keeps you on your toes. So after that show on MTV, I saw her on the New Now Next Awards on Logo and she was performing Just Dance, I believe. And I remember that day so well, just because I know that my family was out at a baseball game and I didn't wanna go, cause I was like, ew, sports, like no thanks. And I was at my grandparents' house and it's funny because both my grandparents are very, very nice. Like they're just super sweet people. But my grandpa obviously is a little bit more old fashioned cause he was a bit older, like rest his soul, he's in heaven now. But anyway, so little old gay me, you know, pretending to not be little old gay me, was like, oh, can we turn this channel on? Well, he turns this channel on again, which is Logo, and it's like the gay channel, <laughs> or was, and all these commercials came on that were very like inappropriate, and I'm sitting there very uncomfortable, and I was like, oh, I don't know what any of this is. This is weird, oh my gosh, like she's gonna be on any minute. And it was just the gayest program, and it's funny because he's sitting here, you know, watching this show with me, and I couldn't even imagine the thoughts that were going through his head, like what did I get myself into? But she finally came on and killed it, just did such a great job performing. And that is when my obsession with her began. From that day, I was the most dedicated little monster and I still am. I support her 
She's such an incredible person, such an incredible artist. I mean, she's an award-winning singer, songwriter, actress. She killed it on American Horror Story. She absolutely killed it in A Star Is Born. That movie was iconic. So I just love how versatile and multi-talented she is. So if you're new to loving her, like I'm sorry that you waited so long, but at the end of the day, I'm glad you've joined the monster family. So like I said, today's look is going to be inspired by Lady Gaga's new video for 911. Now I'm gonna be doing this look again, if you didn't see it earlier, and I'm just pretty much gonna be mimicking a lot of the colors that are in this photo. I'm not gonna be like painting my eyebrows blue, cause like no but I definitely want to use the colors. Now, I don't know if you can tell in the photo, but in addition to like the seafoam green and blue color, there's also like a little bit more of like an actual green on the outside as well as yellow. So we're going to be incorporating that. It's definitely not going to be as blown out as hers because no, but I'm going to be sticking with the colors and obviously adding my own little Cody J flair to it because it's my channel. Now, if you haven't listened to this album yet, pretty much as you're going through the album, there's like three sections. So part one, there's like a transitional kind of song called Chromatica One, and then you have several songs. And then as you get through those, you have Chromatica Part Two, and then you have a few more songs, and then you have Chromatica Part Three, and a few more songs. And you really can feel the vibe and like the storytelling through the music just by the lyrics and just like the sound and the vibe of the songs. So I really like that a lot. I just love how much thought she obviously puts into everything she does, but this whole album is just like a story like vocally and she even says that this album is not made to be skipped like you're not supposed to like skip through the songs like shuffle through them because the album does tell a story so if you are someone who has just pretty much shuffled through like don't shuffle it listen to it straight through and like you'll get it more and again if you haven't listened to this album yet do so but play them in order now as far as like touring i don't know what's going on with that because she originally put out like five or six dates and then obviously like COVID was happening and stuff or is happening. So I don't really know what's gonna happen with that if she's gonna include more dates. Like I can't imagine she's gonna only tour to six places and none of those six places is Ohio, which is where I'm from. So hopefully there are more because I would love to see her in concert for this album, just because it's so epic. I have seen her in the, what which tours did I go to? I went to Joanne and I went to the, which was the other one? Art Pop. I went to the Art Pop Ball and I also went to the Joanne Tour, both of which were absolutely incredible. I couldn't go to the, you know, the Fame Ball and the Fame Monster Ball and all those ones because I was a child and didn't have money. But when I became an adult, credit card, get what I want. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna go off camera, do one eye so I can kind of gather my thoughts and figure out what I wanna do. And I'll be back so we can continue chatting about the icon that is Lady Gaga. Okay guys, I'm back. This is the look I came up with. I did kind of a regular cut crease moment. I applied a yellow and green diagonally on the lid. There's a little bit of shimmer on the inner corner. Yellow on the inner corner, blue on the waterline, cause duh, we love a colorful moment. And the lashes I'm wearing are from J Sky Beauty. And this is in the style Iris. Now I thought it was very fitting to wear these lashes in this video because this brand is owned by my friend Mario who is as obsessed with Lady Gaga as I am. So shout out to you Mario. Also, if you'd like to purchase from J Sky Beauty, you can also use my discount code. It's not an affiliate code, it's just a discount code for those of you who care. But my code is Cody J Sky, and it'll save you 10% off your purchase. So for this eye look, I used a combination of the Patricia Bright palette from Makeup Revolution, and I also am using one of my favorite palettes, the Stacey Marie Carnival XL Pro palette from Be Perfect Cosmetics. So I'm gonna start off by taking Backstage, which is this blue right here, and I'm gonna start applying this to my crease. Now I'd love to know which of you have already watched the 911 video and what were your thoughts thoughts on it and did you catch all the little references like from like the whole parallel dream going on and if you haven't watched this video pretty much she gets into a car accident and she has this whole like parallel dream and everyone and almost everything that's in her dream you see in the end of the video like when that video ends there's like another minute of like her waking up and like pretty much coming back to life and everyone you saw in like her dream is actually there helping her or like, you know, was in the car accident. Like, it's pretty cool. There's so many different little kind of parallel references. So, so I watched this video several times because every time I watched it, I picked up on something new. And there's so many little subtle Easter eggs in this video as well. Like there's the art pop ball in a pool. So there's a lot of stuff like that that I don't think people notice or if they did, like you're a great little monster. <laughs> okay, dipping into the carnival palette, I'm gonna take a little bit of Y though, which is this seafoam green blue right there. And then after I apply that to kind of blend out all my edges, I'm going to go in with a little bit of showboat just to give it a little bit of dimension. This might be one of my favorite videos just because it gives me an excuse to just sit here and ramble about Lady Gaga for like a little while. 
which I will do at any given time, but people don't want to hear it. So hopefully if you clicked on this video, you'll want to hear it because you love her and you agree with everything I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so now I need to cut this crease. So I'm just going to do that. All right, now that our crease is cut, we're gonna go in with a little bit of the hype, which is this bold green right here. And then I'm gonna dip into my Patricia Bright palette with vitamin C, which is just a bright yellow. I'm gonna take this green and I'm just gonna start applying it like diagonally and up into the blue. Just stamping motions and kind of take it downwards towards the lash line. Then I'm gonna wipe my green brush off. I mean, it's stained now, but whatever and dip into that yellow, which is vitamin C, and go kind of above it and on it, also diagonal. So then I'm gonna take a blending brush and just kind of blend in between the middle just to soften that line up a little bit. Okay, so for the inner corner, I'm gonna take a flat brush like this, and I'm gonna take a little bit of peppermint, which is just like a light blue shimmer right here. Now it's not gonna show up too much, but it's gonna set the base that we have because it kind of turned blue from the blue shadows on the lid, which was the goal. So it kind of does its job for us. We're just gonna stamp this on to kind of set it pretty much. It adds a little bit of a sparkle in person. Okay, that's pretty much all I wanna do for the lid. For under eyes, I'm just gonna take a little bit of soft spot and then I'm gonna blend it out with a little bit of pillow talk. Waterline, ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in this beautiful blue. So I'm gonna pop on some Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Cody J. Maybe you should make sure you're subscribed and also hit that like button. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of this Honey Pot Yellow Shimmer on my inner corner because we love a contrasting moment. And it also will incorporate a little bit more of the yellow into the look that Gaga has. Her yellow is kind of placed on the outside, but I want mine on the inside. Alrighty, this is the eye look all complete. One final step is for lips. I'm gonna be using my 4-in-1 Lip Duo by Pure Cosmetics. Now just a little bit of gloss. And if it shocks you that I'm wearing gloss, it shocks me too because I never wear gloss, but I really like this one. Okay guys, this is today's final look, which was inspired by Lady Gaga's 911 music video. So I tried to make sure it was still fun and a little bit creative like I normally do, but I also wanted to incorporate all the colors that she had going on on her eyes and her hair. I also have the matching nude lip. So I think all in all, it's a very colorful yet fun look. Also, thank you guys for letting me ramble on about her for the last however long. I definitely think she is an icon. She's so inspiring and she has done so much for so many people. But that is all I have for today's video. If you'd like to keep up with all things Cody J, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok, all at Cody J Artistry. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Click that big red subscribe button so you can join my YouTube family. Turn on my YouTube video post notifications by clicking that bell icon and switching it to all. And I thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Pause up.